In this episode, I'll show you how to use Motion to quickly and easily create a custom heads-up display for use in Final Cut Pro 10, even if you've never used Motion before. I'm Mark Spencer from Ripple Training. Welcome to Motion Magic, where you'll learn visual effects and motion graphics in under five minutes. To get started, I'll select a blank Final Cut Pro title project with a broadcast HD 1080 preset and a 10 second duration. I'll press Shift Z to fit the canvas to the window and I'll press F6 to close the timeline. Then I'll select the text layer if it's not already selected and delete it. And I'll deactivate the title background so it won't be distracting. I'll build my heads up display using preset animated elements from Motion's library. So I'll select the library, then the content folder. The gauges folder is a great place to start. It contains over two dozen animated gauges that you can modify. Just click them to see a preview up here. When you find one you like, drag it to the group in the layers list. I'll hold down the shift and the option keys and drag a corner bounding box handle to scale the selected group proportionally that contains all these elements. Then I'll drag to reposition them. Then I'll add a few more using the same process. Another good source for animated HUD elements is the Gadgets folder. For example, these disks here. I'll add one, scale it with Shift Option, and reposition it. Once you have all the elements in place, reactivate the title background, and press Command-S to save. Then choose a category. I'll make a new one called HUDs, and click Publish. If we now switch to Final Cut Pro 10 and select the Titles browser, there's our new HUDs category, and there's our motion template. I'll drag it over this clip and play it. To modify this template, in the Titles browser, simply right-click it and choose Open in Motion. For example, you might want to give the Final Cut Pro editor the capacity to turn off specific HUD elements or to reposition them or change their colors. To learn more about how to do this, check out our rigging and publishing tutorial. And if you're brand new to Motion, check out our Getting Started tutorial. Click the subscribe button below. If you have an idea, comment, or suggestion, leave those below as well. Go to rippletraining.com for fast professional training on Final Cut Pro, Motion, and DaVinci Resolve from industry professionals.